it is Sunday. I have my first day of pediatrics tomorrow and we are doing a grocery haul. Hey guys, I just got out of my first day of pediatrics rotation. I just kind of wanted to tell you quickly how it went. We shadowed a little bit in the beginning of the day to kind of understand how the office works. We were given a little tour. I think there's about six exam rooms. Okay, so this is our supply room. In here, we have all the vaccinations. Right here, we have a nice schedule for the vaccination. Blood drawing station, we have all of our blood tubes, and we have our venipuncture kits, so needle, vacutainer, all of that. Charts are placed on the counter, and that is how we know a patient is ready to be seen. There's one room for all the vitals. We take their height, their weight, their blood pressure, their temperature. If they're a baby, we also take their head circumference we see what the patient is here for so if they're here for wellness we touch up on all the things like school sleep diet exercise if they're up to date on their immunizations and if they're not then we go ahead and prepare the vaccines ourselves and we administer them ourselves as well so babies will get them in the thigh whereas adults and children will get them in the arms so if they're here for a sick visit that's an entirely different story we focus on the complaints and kind of work them up that way after we do the history we do our own physical exams so wellness visits will get head to toe exams whereas if it's a sick visit we'll focus on the chief complaint and perform our physical exam based upon the possible organ systems that can be involved after that we present that to the preceptor and he will see the patients along with us we will write the treatment plan the assessment we'll put in all the icd-10 codes ear lavages ear piercings circumcisions in the office and we can draw our own blood so at this office what I really like is that students are actually very involved I almost want to say the office depends on the students um, whereas some offices you are just shadowing uh, good morning everyone it's Saturday it's about 8 50 in the morning so the office hours for this rotation are about 9 to 6 and Saturdays it's 9 to 1 o'clock. So right now I am currently charting my patient and I have to do this for every single patient that I see in the office. So document their age range, their gender, and I had the same ones drawn back to back so I'm pretty much just changing a few things and that's it. I'm so nervous. Okay, let's get this bread, let's get this money, let's make a good impression, let's do this. It is about 7.45 at night. We are making orange chicken for dinner tonight from Trader Joe. That's pretty good. 
good. I wanted to share with you guys what happened at the emergency room today. I saw probably about 15 to 20 patients along with the doctor. A lot of the stuff that actually comes into the emergency room is like vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain. Nine out of 10 times, it's like viral gastroenteritis. Okay, some of the cool things that I saw today were a straight catheter inserted into a two-year-old patient who was having fever with like no other symptoms. So sometimes you have to think of a UTI and because, you know, little babies can't pee on command, we had to do a Foley and I was able to assist on that. I had to hold down a lot of patients today for like injections, blood draws, even for a culture of the throat. Like I was holding down so many crying kids. So today was pretty eventful. Now I have to hit the books. Good morning, y'all. It is week three of pediatrics. The way it works is we have five days in the office per week and one day at the pediatric emergency room. Today, we'll probably see about eight patients each. and then come home. I have a Zoom session with one of y'all today. A little shout out, I have a website, dannythepa.com. If you're looking for pre-PA help, make sure to check that out. Basically, this student wants me to review the CASPA application with her. She wants me to review her descriptions for healthcare experience and shadowing. After that, I am going to work on my pediatric assignment and then I have to start studying for my EOR exam. But I'm also trying to drop a YouTube video it's just it's it's a lot excuse me who's beeping at me how rude was really, 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 really sad. Hey, <laughs> What's up, guys? It is a Sunday afternoon. So this is my last full week of pediatrics. I'm also moving out of this apartment and into my parents' house on Thursday. And then I'm going to begin cramming for my exam on Wednesday. What exciting things do you have coming up? I graduate. And what is your bachelor's degree in? Information technology. Wow. Tomorrow I am going to the emergency room and then the rest of the week I am in the outpatient clinic, so. I really don't want to do this, but let's make the most of it. It is hot. <laughs> 
about three o'clock in the afternoon and I am done with my last day of the emergency room pediatrics. I got that Chipotle. It is about 8.10 at night. I am exhausted, but I have to get in like an hour to two hours of study time because tomorrow, Saturday, I work from nine to like three, nine to four, whenever we're finished. So that really only leaves me with Sunday and my evenings to study after work. So it's grind time, baby. Good morning, y'all. It is the last day of pediatrics. I got my Dunkin' today, and then I got my donuts. So I am at a different location today. I'm at my grandma's house because she's out of town. Hello, hello, puppy. This is my friend Rebecca. I just showered. I am about to make some espresso. My grandma taught me how to make this. Pizza boy! Hi, baby. Tomasos. Oh, ho, ho! That's chippies. Tuesday evening. 7.38 and I have not started studying yet for the night. What I plan on doing tonight is a bunch of Rosh Review practice questions because at this point I need to be testing my knowledge and figuring out what I don't know. I am doing an extra shot. <laughs> okay. It's 10 minutes until my exam starts, so I am logging into Canvas on Lockdown Browser. Because of the pandemic, we are taking our EORs at home. We are ready to roll. So I just finished my exam. I just got done with lecture, uh, like a kind of a little announcement to talk about how the next few rotations are gonna go. Okay, so I am waiting for my poster presentation to start. Usually if we weren't in a pandemic, we would present this in front of the whole class, but I'm only presenting it in front of one professor and two classmates online. So I'm not really too nervous about it, honestly, but we shall see. Look in my outfit. Didn't really try. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to follow along with my journey and click that subscribe button. And if you've enjoyed this video, click that like button. If you want to see more content, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Danny the PA. Hope you enjoy the video.